Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Friday the 31st, and today was a snowy, cold, windy, crappy day out. Um, overall, turned out alright I guess, weather-wise, but we got a handful of snow, it was that weird, started off kind of warm, so it really melted when it hit the roads, and then it cooled off quick, and there was a handful of spots it turned out just downright um, crazy slick. I was out running around. Had to go do some errands and stuff. I had to go to the bank, insurance company, handful of crap. And then from there, I headed out to um, the Continental, to a care facility, assisted living with Alzheimer's patients. And me and the dog go out there every once in a while and go down and visit the people and stuff. And that kind of give them a little change of pace. Uh, let them see, you know, they don't get to see a big dog, especially. Hardly anybody brings pets out there at all. But they don't bring out big dogs much. So if ever except for us so took him out there and at one point i was heading on the old highway and i was running i don't know 45 or so 50 where the speed limit i think it's 35 40 there i was probably speeding a little bit i almost always am and i thought you know i'm just gonna be nosy here and i tapped the brakes on it and it kind of did a little like didn't want to slow down much so i said hell and slammed the brakes on like as if i'd saw a deer or something to see what would happen and i slid from I don't know, I'd say it was probably 40, 45, um, all the way down to a virtual stop, and it took me probably 25 or 30 times longer than it normally would have. It seemed like it was just going on forever. At one point, I actually thought I picked up speed. It was really kind of a weird feeling. I was like, yeah, maybe these roads a little slicker than I thought it was, and I was kind of glad I did slow down when I did and tested it, because by the time I got stopped, I was probably about 100 yards from a fairly decent little corner, that wouldn't have been fun at 45 mile an hour at the roads as bad as they were. So definitely um, a handful of spots that were just slicker than that. I went out for a run. handful of spots I found that were just really crazy slick while running also. But I hung out the Continental for a little while with the old uh, the um, Alzheimer's patients and stuff. And my dog was just in a weird mood. He wanted to be out in the snow. He likes the snow. He likes to see it snow. And he was kind of mad I made him be stuck inside dealing with other people instead of being outside running around. So he was really being a turd. Had a little bit of issue with him there. At one point, I kind of physically just kind of pinned him down like I do. Like, he, you know, get on top of him. And just started really kind of beating the crap out of him. And he got to growling and kind of going a little nutty and stuff with it. And the people were laughing their butt off. And it was all in fun, but I had to kind of let him just get some of that frustration out. So then he'd calm back down and everybody could actually, you know, pet him and play with him and that kind of thing and let him get, you know, more of the reason he's out there. He's not out there to fight with me. He's out there to help entertain the people. So that right there went well. And then I um, headed to the gym to get warmed up and that. had my trainee that decided they wanted to go for another run today. Um, I don't know why because I thought we were going to take the day off. They have a bike ride tomorrow, the Burr Ride here in Iowa. Um, I ride from like Perry, Iowa to some other town and back to Perry, Iowa. And they're calling for more snow tonight and upwards of six inches by tomorrow at noon. And I think they're leaving at like, I want to say 8 or 9 a.m. So it's going to be a really interesting, crazy, crappy, weird ride for them. I don't know if they're going to send out an extra little like plow truck in front of them to keep the roads cleared off or what they're doing. I got no clue. So not my thing um, at all. Just no way in hell there. So. They were getting off at 4, so they'd be there shortly after that. Um, 4.30 came and went, and they still weren't there yet. They're, I was like, this is ridiculous. I'd already put in an hour on the bike when I thought they were supposed to be getting there, and then I was over to long, longer nat. I was, went from the bike to the treadmill, and I started getting a little bit too much heat in my body, and I'm like, I gotta get outside. They showed up, and then they decided they wanted to stay inside the whole time, which I tried to encourage them that on like four texts earlier that day. And they were like, oh, no, I'm going to run outside, blah, blah. And they told me they were going to stay inside because they had to be outside all day tomorrow. And that kind of pissed me off a little bit. Not really so much, just more like frustrated me when I tried telling you that fact. Like earlier, I'm like, you need to stay inside, not that big a deal. And I said, to hell with it. I said, I'm going to run right now. So I screwed around the treadmill. I hit the emergency stop button. Said piss on it, went ahead and took off. Um, then they, in that time frame, they decided they wanted to run outside. I'm like, whatever. I'm going to go run a couple miles. I'll be back by to get you. We'll do your one mile loop on your slow pace. And then I'll go out and finish it up, whatever run I want to do outside. And hopefully I wouldn't get too cold and sweaty. I get, or too sweaty out there doing too cold when I get on that slow run walk pace with them. So took off, went and ran like almost two miles and stuff. Um, Text them and said, hey, I'm getting close back to the gym. I'd stay inside if I was you. It's kind of crappy out here. But if you do want to go, be ready. I'm going to be up there shortly. And they texted me back saying they were already out in it and they were like, 
I don't know, five blocks away from the gym. I was probably seven blocks away from the gym. So they're 12 blocks ahead of me and they're only doing a mile loop. And I'm like, right then I kind of got ticked off because literally not even two miles ago, they said they wanted to be out, make the run with me and that kind of thing. So I thought, okay, maybe I'd run differently. Had I known they weren't, or had I known they were going to go on their own or didn't care if I was there with them, I would have definitely taken a different route and ran a different pace, different whole thing. But ended up catching up to them um, about a quarter mile into the run, maybe not quite, a little around a little quarter mile in the run. And then I slowed down with them, finished out, kind of gave them some pointers and stuff, did a little talking about tomorrow's ride with them, how to keep their mind you know, working where it needs to be and that kind of thing. And then once I got back, I dropped off some of my gear that I was tired of. It didn't work. It's some stuff I'm going to throw away, I think. But went and handed them, let them take it back to the gym, and I went and finished up the rest of my run by myself out there. Well, by myself and Bruce, my dog. So put him back in the van, headed back inside. They took off shortly after that, and I ended up knocking out another half an hour on the bike to basically just kind of get my body warmed back up, I guess, inside, keep my blood flowing and that. Came home, um, got a handful of things done around here. Ended up finding um, some interesting new songs and stuff on um, YouTube. Ended up stumbling across, I can't remember the name of the band, but it's called Sail. Um, that was a pretty good song, I like that. There's a few other songs by them that I'm, like I said, I can't remember what the name of the group is, but I'll figure it out later. So, got them saved on YouTube so I can go back and watch them later. And other than that, same old, same old, it seems like. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.